So I just thought I'd do a quick video on metal bike failures because um, you know, I get it all the time in the comments. Oh, I've seen your YouTube on carbon bikes and you know, that's, it, scares, it scares me off carbon bikes, I'm gonna go to a metal bike. Um, now, metal bikes can fail also and, and it was brought to my attention um, just over the weekend where Canyon have done a recall on, uh, on, on some of their bikes, on the, some of the metal bikes, because they've, they've had, uh, had some problems. So, so I looked up the United States Consumer Product Safety Commission, which lists all the recalls, etc., and looked, up, looked into what the uh, situation was. So I'll read that out. So it's, uh, I've got the computer basically behind the camera here. So I'm looking at the computer and at the, at the camera. So, Canyon recalls mountain bikes due to crash hazard. Recall alert. Uh, name of product, mountain bikes. Um, well, it's actually the spectral line of the mountain bikes. Um, hazard, the chain stays can crack, which can lead to failure of the chain stay, rear wheel detachment and loss of control, posing a crash hazard. Uh, remedy is repair. Uh, it's got the recall date of October the 10th, um, 2018. The units is uh, 820 units uh, are involved in this recall. So, so I haven't actually seen uh, what the failure is, but I'd um, I'd presume that it's it's probably adjacent to a weld or something like that. You know, it's been a, a, a crack at either one of the pivot to tube locations or dropout locations, something like that. That's typically what happens. So. Um, now, metals, metals are particularly prone to failure around welds because you've got, um, you've got the heat affected zone which changes the metallurgy and the grain structure of the material. Also, when you weld, you can introduce um, other foreign objects or um, you can have porosity in the weld, voids in the weld, etc. So, um, oddly enough, with the ultrasound scans, sort of like what I do on the bikes to find the flaws in the, in the carbon bikes, probably the biggest user worldwide of ultrasound equipment is, um, is the welding industry. So pipelines, uh, rail tracks, uh, you know, all these sorts of things, they have automated ultrasound scanning equipment because they're doing so much of this stuff. Um, you know, looking for defects in these welds, like in pressure vessels, etc., um, pipes, as I said, rail lines. So, um, yeah. So welding is is problematic uh, in 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 metals and uh, and can be prone to failures, so which is which is one of the reasons why on a a primary aircraft component you'll never see a weld. It'll always always be riveted, bonded, you know, etc., for the metal components. They won't weld. They won't weld these parts. Um, so, yeah, it just sort of highlights that it's not just carbon bikes that can have problems. Metal bikes can have problems, um, as as demonstrated in the in this recall. And it's the way things are made and the quality inspection that is that's that's the important uh, criteria. So. It's not whether a bike is made out of carbon, titanium, aluminium, steel, magnesium, plastic, you know, unobtainium, you know, whatever the material is, it still has to be made properly and, and have levels of quality assurance um, to validate that it's made properly. So, so that's the big takeout uh, from this. Not yeah, it's not the material that you ride. It's it's the way it's been uh, it's been processed. So on that uh, on that note, I'll wind this video up and um, just an update on the on the cut up videos. I have cut up both the Look uh, Six Nine Five and the Giant Propel. So I've they they're cut in half. Um, there was a there was a, a comment the other day about the guy. Oh, it only takes ten minutes to cut up a bike and do a video. Um, 
took about half an hour to cut up each bike, just, just, just for reference. Um, I haven't had a chance to video those sections and, and, and stuff yet, so I'll, I'll get to that when I can. I've got a lot on as usual, um, but I'll get to it when I can. And um, yeah, I'll see you next time. Okay, thanks, bye.